Water potential is a crucial concept in plant physiology and ecology, describing the tendency of water to move from one area to another. It's represented by the Greek letter, psi, and is measured in units of pressure, typically bars or pascals. The water potential of a system is influenced by several components. This component accounts for the physical pressure exerted on the water in a system. It can be positive, negative, or zero. Positive pressure potentials occur when water is under pressure, like in a turgid cell. Negative pressure potentials occur when water is under tension, such as in a dry soil or a wilting plant. Zero pressure potential occurs when water is at atmospheric pressure, typically at the surface of free water. This component reflects the effect of solutes dissolved in the water. It's always negative because solutes lower the chemical potential of water. The more solutes present, the more negative the solute potential becomes. For example, highly concentrated solutions have a lower solute potential than dilute ones. This component accounts for the attraction of water molecules to surfaces, such as soil particles or cell walls. It's also always negative because it represents the energy required to overcome the attractive forces between water molecules and surfaces. Dry soils have a more negative matric potential compared to moist soils. This component is relevant in tall plants or columns of water, where gravity influences the movement of water. It's typically negligible in small plants, but becomes significant in tall trees or in situations where water moves vertically. Water moves from areas of higher water potential to areas of lower water potential. This movement can occur through processes like osmosis, diffusion, or through plant tissues via transpiration. Understanding water potential is essential for comprehending various physiological processes in plants, including water uptake, movement, and regulation.